five-minute bedtime Bible stories, retold by Amy Parker, illustrated by Walter Carzon. One Little Lunch, Mark chapter 6, John chapter 6. Jesus and his twelve disciples traveled all over the land, teaching about God's love. Crowds of people came to hear what the wise teacher Jesus had to say, but this kept Jesus and his disciples so busy that they rarely had time to rest. Come, Jesus told them one day, let us go to a place far from the crowds where we may rest a while. Jesus and his disciples took a boat across Lake Galilee. But someone had seen them set sail. The word spread about where Jesus was going. When Jesus and his disciples got to the shore, on the other side, a huge crowd had already gathered on the hillside. Jesus and his disciples were tired, but Jesus wanted to help people. He saw how much these people wanted to learn from him and to hear what he had to say. So Jesus shared lessons with them, and he told them stories of his father's love. The people would not leave Jesus' side. As the sun began to set, the disciples knew that the people must be getting hungry. Jesus, one of the disciples said to him, It is getting late. These people have nothing to eat. And there is no food here. We should tell them to go. If we send them away now, they might have time to reach a nearby town to buy food. Why don't we feed them? Jesus asked. He turned to one of the disciples. Philip, where can we buy enough bread to feed these people? Philip looked at the crowd gathered on the hillside. There had to be 5,000 or more people there. He shook his head. It would take me a year to save enough money to feed all of these people. And even then, the food I could afford would only be enough for everyone to get just a pinch of bread. Where Philip saw a problem, Jesus saw a chance to show the people the power of God. Andrew, another one of Jesus' disciples, had been searching the crowd for food. He walked up to Jesus with a boy by his side. This boy has five loaves of bread and two small fish, Andrew said. But that's not enough to feed even a handful of people. Jesus just smiled and said, Ask everyone to sit down. The disciples walked throughout the grassy hill, asking the people to sit. The people grew quiet as Jesus took the little boy's basket in his hands. They listened as he prayed. Father, thank you for this food. We are grateful that what you give is always enough. Jesus broke the bread, dividing the loaves among the disciples. Then Jesus broke the fish and divided the pieces among them. Now, he said to his disciples, give everyone here some bread and fish. Make sure that everyone is fed. The disciples looked down at the food they held in their hands. They saw the small broken loaves of bread and the tiny broken pieces of fish. Then they looked out at the sea of people spread across the hillside. The disciples had no idea how Jesus planned to feed them all. But they trusted him. The disciples walked into the crowd and began to serve the people. Everyone wondered how long it would be before they ran out of food. The people watched the disciples and wondered if a miracle was about to take place. They had learned heard about how Jesus had worked miracles in the past. Somehow, every time a person reached for food, it was there. The people ate and ate. 
and somehow everyone ate until they were full. Before long, over 5,000 people had been fed. When Jesus saw that everyone had eaten, he told his disciples, Now go and gather all of the leftover food. We don't want any to go to waste. The disciples each took a basket. Then they walked throughout the crowd that was spread across the hill. They gathered any food that was left, placing it in the baskets as Jesus had told them to do. Even after feeding the entire crowd, they were left with 12 baskets full of food. The disciples were amazed. 5,000 people had seen the boy's five loaves and two small fish, and 5,000 people had seen Jesus feed everyone with the gift of one little lunch with only a simple blessing. It was a miracle that Jesus had fed all of those people, and they knew that Jesus was a great prophet. With that, the disciples set out again across the lake, and Jesus went up on the mountain to rest and pray.